Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Julie Williams. If you're a student and want to expand your skills in technology, the Marion Carnegie Library will reopen its technology lab. News 3's Maya Skinner joins us live in studio with more on that. Good evening, Maya. Julie and Mark, students will have the opportunity to work with a technology mentor through various programs and workshops about emerging technology. I spoke with the mentor as well as the coordinator of library services about what the lab has to offer. Marion Carnegie Library's Technology Lab reopened last week for the season. The lab was funded by Project Next Generation and the Illinois Secretary of State Office to complete personal projects and explore technology for children ages 10 through 18. We just think it's so important to, for the youth of Southern Illinois and Marion specifically, to be able to take advantage of some things that, again, in this area may not be all that common. Things like 3D printing, things like learning about uh, website development and audio engineering. Students can stop by Monday through Thursday or come on Saturdays for themed programs. The kids will come in here, they will create like a small short, uh, short story that's most likely spooky because it's October. And then we'll be going through and using different audio recording dev uh, techniques and uh, audio recording software and then editing that software and uploading it for the public to be able to view. Coordinator of Library Services Keith Robinson says this is a great opportunity to get hands-on training and gain life skills. Kids love it, you know, when, when they come in because we have such a variety of things to work on. Not everybody likes photography, but if you don't like photography, you might like 3D printing. And if you don't like that, you might like some other thing. Um, and from the parents as well, it's really, uh, parents are really supportive of their kids coming in to be able to work with some of this technology. And I'll have more information about the Technology Lab on our website, WSILTV.com. Live in the studio, Maya Skinner, News 3.